I have a question. Yes. I mean, this is kind of weird, but... So, when a child is born, are they born separated? I mean, could there ever be... Is just the, the, the nature of that itself the separation? Because if, there, if there's no separation, then there's no bodies. Yeah, it's, it's almost like that. That represents what we call birth or death. It's, there's, underneath either one is like an individuation. It's, it's uh, making something individual. And uh, I, one time I, I asked the Holy Spirit, I said, can you give me a word that's the correct interpretation of individual? And the Holy Spirit said, indivisible. <laughs> oh, oh, indivisible instead of individual. So, yeah, you could say that, that what we would call something like birth or death or anything specific in this world, you know, like a, a bottle of water, you know, it's like what separates this off from the whole cosmos but a name and a shape and a size. You see all these specific components that pull it out of the tapestry of the whole cosmos. And it's the same we, we could say with, with birth, except it's not the dynamic of, of a baby being born that's the individuation, it's more the concepts in the mind that are fragmented into all these separate, disunited pieces. So, you know, we were talking about Shakespeare just a minute ago, and um, all the world's the stage and everyone must play their part. I, I said to the Holy Spirit, is that true? And and the Holy Spirit said, well, all the world's a stage, and divine mind can play no part. And I was like, ah. Oh. So if, if everyone was awakened, I mean, not just like having, like everyone's talked about these experiences, but this level of consciousness, then their bodies would just vanish. It would be like the disappearance of the universe. In other words, the, the fragmented perception was made by the ego. And so if you forgive that, if you forgive the separation and the fragmentation, you come back to unity or unification. I mean, do people actually think, I mean, do they think about that? Like if, if that was to happen, then the world would not exist. I mean, we would not see the world. And we would be interacting not with form and not with words, just with vibrations in, in the universe. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I have had people that have followed my teachings for years and they'll come and they'll say, I follow these teachings and where it's heading. <laughs> <laughs> so it does, that does happen uh, where people follow it out. Now, on a practical level, you, you know, again, it comes down to your, your experience. So it's not so much the Course isn't advocating kind of coming up with an intellectual stance or a, a new theology or something like that, but it's actually calling us into an experience, into that experience. And, and what I would say the purest of the actual experience is what we would call a light episode or revelation. It's not, it's not a miracle, it's not a perceptual experience at all, it's just, it's just blazing, blazing light. And there's been three times in my life where, where I've experienced the disappearance of the universe wow. where there was only that light. It's kind of like the light that's talked about in these near-death experiences. And it talks wow. about that. And yes. It talks about revelation. Yes, it does. Wow. It, it does mention it early on and it's, it says basically that, that, that you have to really be ready for revelation and, and it's, really it's implying that most people are not and most people in what we would say in this lifetime um, are not really ready for that. They're ready for miracles, they're ready for clearing away, doing that inner work mm -hmm. of forgiving and removing the obstacles. And that's why it's called A Course in Miracles instead of A Course in Revelation. Mm -hmm. But but that revelation shows you the end. It gives you a full-blown experience of of the Kingdom of Heaven, except it's a, it's a still a glimpse. You know, it's it's when when it's when it's complete and there's nothing else, then that is what heaven is. There's not any perception to come to waffle back and forth between. Yeah.